So everybody, it's what Jim, and now I do videos every Monday, every Monday and Wednesday. So for my first video of doing this, I'll be doing the movie review for The Suicide Squad. What an amazing movie that was, but let's get to it with, with the review. You can also let, let me know if you've seen the film and what you thought of it in the comment section, section below. And that being said, let's get started with the good. Um, actually, there's one, one more thing to talk about before we get to the good, and it's a film, or well, actually a couple of things. It's a film directed by James Gunn, who also directed the other two Guardians of the Galaxy films. I think he also um, wrote or co-wrote some of the Scooby-Doo films as well. I, I know he was involved. I can't remember if, if he wrote it or, or produced it. He, he, he was involved some, somehow in those Scooby-Doo films from the early 2000s. Um, also, you don't have to have seen the original Suicide Squad from 2016 to have seen this, this, this film which I appreciated. It's it's not really a sequel, it's still a standalone film. There are, there, are, there are some characters that do appear in this film that also appear in the 2016 film, but they, they, don't, they don't even talk about what happened in that film, so you, you don't have to have seen the first Suicide Squad, which wasn't that great to see, the, to see this this one. So um, now now we'll get to it with, with the good. So we'll get started with the characters. I thought most, most of the characters had something unique and different about them and I thought they all just had a great they, they were all just amazing at interacting with each other I loved um, it, it just saw this character blood blood sport um, Mar Margot Robbie I think I think it's the best performance yet of her playing Harley Quinn I think Harley Quinn might be my favorite DC character from the DC extended un universe I think she's just amazing as Harley Quinn nobody else can do that as good a job as she she does um, there were there were some really other great characters as well. I loved King King Shark and his character called Ratcatcher Two. Um, there, there were there were just loads loads of characters I just really enjoyed and was was seeing Steelers. I also really enjoyed Polka Dot Man. I wasn't expecting much from him, but I really enjoyed his character and a lot of the characters had a lot of emotion to them as well. And I really felt like I could relate to a lot of them, even though they were villains. Um, and I thought that they. All were, were, written, were written very well, and I think all of them had a really fun time doing the um, be, playing their, their characters. Um, I, I think it's pretty obvious that they did because it 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 just looked look, look like they were having a lot of fun playing as those characters. So that's pretty much all I've got to say for the characters. But I, it was definitely a step up, a hundred percent a step up from what it was in the Su in Suicide Squad. There were a few good characters in that film, main, mainly with Harley Quinn. And Will Smith's character, but in this one, I think pretty much every single character is 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 great or even amazing, in my opinion. I also thought that they all had great relationships with each other. I also quite like Harley Quinn and Rick Flagg's relationship together. I also quite like her her relationship with Bloodsport as well. Um, in terms of the action, I thought that 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 was it was very very violent. The the, the action was, which we'll get to more in the bad bad for the film but it was just really really enjoyable action very very unique there's not really many films i've got that type of action i thought it was done very very well and it was just really really fun when the action did come on it had the perfect amount of it not not didn't overdid it do it with the action they didn't underdo it either um and i think if if you love a a action movies you're gonna really you're gonna really enjoy the, this one i think the action was really really was was just done really really well and it reminded me of John Wick as well which 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 was great to see that the action sort of reminded me of that um and I, I, just, I just really enjoy the action there's not too much else to say about about it but if you love action movies you would definitely like 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 this film so in terms of the, the story I was really in 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 for the ride it was really really enjoyable and really fun for every second of it um, it was just a really, really just fun story, very, 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 very enjoyable, and I think it's one of the better super, super superhero stories, in my opinion. It is a very simple story, but you, you, you know, you know what, what what it's about. It's not very, very confusing whatsoever, and it was just really, really enjoyable. Not too much else to say about about the story, but definitely is one of the better stories in any super superhero film, in my opinion. The film was also full of twists and turns, which was great to see as well. I do like it when there are different twists, twists and turns in films, 
it makes it very very un un unpredictable um i also thought it was uh, it was very very funny as well i thought all the jokes pretty much landed landed for me um it was it was just a, a hilarious film i was laughing quite a lot in in, in the movie and the jokes they didn't overdo it with what they, they came on when they needed when they, when they needed to be jokes um and i and i just thought that they were just very very um, funny some of them i thought mm, it's not that funny but i think most of them definitely did did land did land for me and i definitely want to watch it again just for the humor alone it was just really really funny especially with with, with the characters like king shark and polka dot man they, they they were just just scene stealers with their humor as well um and i also thought it was quite a unique for it was, it was quite a unique super superhero movie it wasn't it didn't feel like it was copying anything it didn't feel too familiar to any comic book film it just felt very very it, it, it just felt it just felt like its own thing which i really really appreciated um the final the final thing thing for the good is that that explosions are not C cgi they actually real they are real explosions um and that there is there is cgi in the film but a lot a lot of practical practical effects which i really did, did did love that about it it didn't feel it didn't feel like they did it with cgi it was there when it kind of needed needed to be um and it was just great to see a lot of practical effects done in in the film but now now i'll move on to the bad for the suicide so in terms of the bad like like what we're saying in the good it is a very very violent film it's also very dark as well i'd definitely be 15 if you're watching this I'd at least 15 i wouldn't be 12 watching this if i were you it's far too violent it's far too dark and um that's really all i'm gonna say about that i also thought that the villain i didn't think was anything that amazing i think it could have been written a bit better um, he, he was probably my least favorite character in the film um i also thought that they had dark humor as well and some of the jokes that they, they they were the ones that really land, land for me because they were, they, were, they, were, they were too dark for me as well um it also introduced too many characters um and i, I felt like quite quite a few of them i want i want them to have more time with them i didn't feel that we got enough time with quite quite a few of the characters from the suicide squad um and I also thought it showed too much of the film in the trailers. It was pretty easy to know which which part of the film happens when, and when 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 you can do that, it it means that 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 the trailer I think just it just revealed too much, and I I felt if I if it didn't reveal that 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 much, I might have enjoyed the film a bit more because I wouldn't have known really as much of what was going on. Um, but but unfortunately, it did show a lot a lot a lot in the trailers. Um, and that's that's really all I've got to say for the bad. Not 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 anything too major as as far as bad bad's concerned. But now we'll move on to the verdict for the film. So I I recommend this film to people who like DC films and people who like James Gunn films. Um, please be at least fifteen years old to watch this. Don't be any younger than that. What watching this, please. And uh, I I just have laughed watching this. I can't wait to rewatch it again. Um, it was definitely one of my favourite DC films out there. It's hands down my favourite from the DCEU. I've still not seen the new Wonder Woman film, uh, 1984, I think Wonder Woman 1984. That's not got very good reviews though. Um, I've also not seen Man of Steel either, or Zack Snyder's Justice League, but when I do, I will definitely do reviews for them. But for this, for this film, I would rate it a 9 out of 10, and it's one of my favourite superhero films at the moment. And thank, thank, thank you for watching. Let, let me know what you thought of this amazing film in the comment sec sec section below. Is it one of your favourite DC films? Is it your favourite DC film? Is it your favourite from the DC Extended Universe? Uh, let me know in the, comment sec in the comment section below. I will be reading them. And thank, thank you for watching. You can also watch me look for college if, if you want. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to, but actually I'm looking forward to going tomorrow. Bit nervous about it. It's been quite, it's been quite, quite a few weeks since I last went. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, ciao.